Hi everyone, I've got another MDR segment in the Digital Forensics series. Um, now you should watch my first video in the MDR analysis before you watch this particular one. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to that one. This is because I explain a lot of things which could be of variation in your setup of the hex editor and what we could be potentially looking for or asking ourselves when we're performing MBR analysis. So the first video explains a lot about different different methods and how you should set everything up before you begin and why it's good to set it up that way. So let's begin by opening up our helpful tabs which I've included at the bottom of each document and I've already opened them up. Um, these are the same tabs that I've used in my first video. I'll extract the information from this new master boot record and I will extract the same pieces of information um, as my first video. The reason for this segment is so that we can familiarize ourselves with different types of MBRs, different kinds of MBRs. So let's begin. So I have this new MBR on the right hand side and I'm just going to use a snipping tool to take a crop of where I think the partition information is going to be. Um, so from the layout we understand that uh, the MBR ends with a magic number of 55AA and just above that, starting just above that is the last partition, partition 4 and above that would be partition 3 and then just above that is partition 2 and 1 but partition 2 in our case actually has information and so does partition 1 because if you notice 3 and 4 do not have any information, they are all consisting of zeros and they don't have an, any uh, data in the fields of the boot indicator in that, in that particular column nor the system ID which you need if you are a partition and you're existing because then you'll be able to identify yourself as um, what type of partition you are and if you're bootable or non-bootable. I think the key is to look for the the system ID because if it doesn't have a system ID of a positive number if it's a zero zero then it's not a partition it has to have a common partition value to be identified as a partition cool so the information I'm going to be extracting is the same four pieces of information so I'm going to be extracting the boot indicator of both the partitions and I'm going to be extracting the system ID of both the partitions and I'm going to be also extracting the relative sectors which is the starting LBA address of both the partitions and then the size information of both of the partitions. Cool, so I'm going to start writing it out in my table. So the boot indicator for the first partition is 0x80 and this is how we write hexadecimal values just so we can identify them by adding a 0 and an x before the actual two digits. Then the type is 0x07. The starting LB address, we have to write this in Little Indian, which is read very differently. What we normally read is from left to right, but in Little Indian, we have, because this is not how our systems read it, our systems will read it in Little Indian, and that's just the way that they're built. So we're going to have to read it from right to left of the entire array of bytes, but in each byte, because there's four bytes, this is a four byte array, we're going to read from right to left, but in each byte, you're going to read the traditional left to right. So it sounds confusing, but we're going to go 0x, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 again, 0, 8, then 0, 0. Hope you, hope you saw that. Um, I'll do the size so that you can catch on. So right to left of the entire byte array, but inside the bytes, you're going to read from left to right. Um, so for the size, it's 0x03 to 0,0800. And because it's hex, um, we can remove the, uh, the zeros just before the actual digit because these don't change the value of the digit. And moving on to the next partition, the boot indicator is 0,0. zero. The type of the ID is 07 again. The relative sectors this time is 0x03 to 01800. The size of the second partition is 0x01 
zero B D F E eight zero 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 B D F E eight zero zero perfect now we can remove the starting zeros and luckily even this particular master boot record is in 16 bytes per row layout if you look 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 that's just the exact way that this particular template is laid out which is very helpful because we can drag and put it directly onto this um onto this mbr onto this crop and we'll be able to identify using this template of what this information is and remember mbrs can only have a maximum of four partitions so now let's start filling in information. So the first boot indicator is 0x80. 00 is non-bootable. 0x80 is a bootable partition. And the type system ID is 0807. If you look at the common partition value, 07 is NTFS, HPFS, XFAT. It could be either one. So NTFS, HPFS, XFAT. And the starting LBA, we need a calculator for this one. And we're going to change our setting to programmer. So that way we can also write hex numbers. And hex in 800 is 2048 in decimal. And the size, we're going to have to buy it multiplied by 512 because in MBR there are 512 byte sectors. So we're going to take this particular digit we're going to paste it there and we're going to take the decimal value of that multiplied by 512 and that's what we get so And if we take this particular value that we got by multiplying the hex value with 512, if we take that and put it into the Google bytes to gigabytes converter, we get 102 roughly gigabytes. So that equals 102 gigabytes. We can see that it's a pretty large, uh, pretty large partition. So let's go back to the second partition now. So again, this is a non-bootable partition by looking at the boot flag indicator. Um, it's zero, 00, so it's non-bootable, this one. And the zero 07 again is the same thing, NTFS, HPFS, XFAT. And the starting LBA. Is that much in decimal? And then the oh whoops I I had done the calculation for the wrong one so this particular calculation was for this partition too not for the first partition my mistake so what we can do is just do the calculation for the first partition so I'm gonna copy this because we hadn't done the calculation for this one as of yet. which equals that multiplied by 512 which is roughly 26.84 gigabytes roughly 26.84 GB so that is the partition information for this particular MBR um, and the reason why I would extract the starting LBA is so that this particular um, calculation helps us in actually finding out the data areas and later segments when we're actually learning about file carving for FAT file systems. Um, but getting into the habit of actually analyzing it over here will definitely help in those segments. So I hope the segment helped with further understanding of MBR analysis. 
like and subscribe for more segments and comment if you have any queries and I'll get back to you guys. I'll leave links in the description to the Word document and all the links that I've used to complete this segment. And I hope this video helped. I mean, it, it will get more simpler. I mean, the more you do it, the more familiar it becomes to you. But yeah, thank you.